Right, finally, so we get to video 7, and video 7 is of the archway where I actually slept in Castlefield. Uh, I slept there for many years, uh, off and on. Uh, I would sometimes stay there for a few months and go, come back and go. Um, it was full of junk, that thing as well. There was loads of other rubbish in there. when I, And it used to have a big steel door on the front, not that wire cage that you can see there now. Um, but anyway, as I say, um, it's funny enough, it's got, <coughs> I actually quite liked living there, actually, um, might sound a bit odd, a bit strange, but kind of liked it in some ways, um, and I used to like the fact that the trains used to rumble over at night time, um, it was kind of scary at first, in the pitch dark, it was quite dark in there at night. There was a bit of light coming in through some of the street lights through the little windows at the top, but uh, you know you, you could see to move around in it. Do you know what I mean? But it was still quite dark, um, and uh, the first few nights was a little bit scary because you got the trains rumbling over, especially the goods trains that went over and they seemed to take forever going over. Um, but uh, you kind of got used to it after a while. Um, and actually quite enjoyed it um, because it used to help you go to sleep because the rhythmic rumbling of the train kind of lulled you into a, a sort of, you know, uh, nice sort of sleep in a way. Um, but anyway, so, okay, uh, see what you make of this one. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, Charlie, so, uh, there's a little walkway bridge. It's all kind of... I kind of like it, do you know what I mean? I've always liked it round here, actually, to be quite honest. I love the structures. They're immense and quite <laughs> quite impressive, really. Um, and I like the little bridge that goes over the canal bit there. I know that's not old, but, you know, it just I just love... I'm, I'm an artist at the end of the day, and I love shapes, and I love form. Uh, and I guess that's why I like it, because of the interesting shapes and shadows that are cast and so forth. Um, and that's, it just makes it, I, I think it's an interesting, fascinating place, to be quite honest. Uh, and I guess even though I might have been homeless and not painting and just drinking my life away and, and all the rest of it, I guess there was still that part of me, that artist that's in me, that you know, was drawn to this place, maybe for those very same reasons, I guess. Um, but also, it was out of the way, and as I said, y it wasn't like this. You didn't have cars, big posh cars driving up and down this. You know, you didn't have people wandering around. It wasn't a tourist attraction. You know, cause it <laughs> it, apparently it is now. Um, you know, uh, it, like I say, you know, it, it was all derelict. It was all, you know, people, nobody really came here. You know, like I say, I mean, a few odd people here and there, this, that, and the other. But apart from that, you know, there was nobody, nobody bothered, you know, apart from maybe homeless people, like I say. You know, I did see a few homeless people here and there. I, I tended to try and keep myself to myself. I didn't like knocking about with the other street people, to be quite honest. I don't know if you say I was being a snob or what. <laughs> no, it wasn't, it wasn't that. There was, there was other reasons. Um, but, you know, anyway, uh, now look, where are we going, right? See, now you, you may not be familiar with this. Uh, possibly because I mean who's going to be looking at this anyway do you know what I mean I mean uh, as you can see this is still quite uh, gruesome looking anyway oh mind you I've just noticed again the sun shining on the thing I've just realized oh god I hope you can see that but you see inside there anyway inside that little bit there that's all now fenced off with a big cage over the front of it or whatever it used to be a sort of metal sheet metal thing with a little door in it and uh, I used to kip in there and uh, it's funny because uh, there was a guy, there was one guy I used to knock about with uh, sometimes, not every time but every now and again I'd bump into him and it was him that actually found this place first and uh, like I say he, he was here for a little while and I think it was him that showed it me one night, we, we came here and we, we kipped down here and drank booze and, and so forth and what have you, just like what homeless people generally tend to do when you got fuck all else to do. Oh, sorry, try not to swear, Paul. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, I used to sleep in there for a long time. Well, I can't remember exactly how long, but yeah, I used to sleep in there, man. You know, I don't know if you can see it that well, because of all the bars and the lights shining on it. 
Uh, but yeah, inside that caged off area is where I slept for a long time. And uh, this it used to always be full of water, and you have to sort of, you know get through it as best you could. Um, anyway, the, I noticed the sun's shining everywhere, and it's it's like whiting everything out, so you can hardly see things. Um, bit of a bummer, really. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll okay, Charlie. Uh, this is uh, next to the Roman fort. I just noticed I put finger marks all over the lens of my camera as well. Never mind. Um, yeah, so this is the Roman fort here, uh, and where I was just showing you, I've just come round the other side of the uh, of the archway, uh, and there's a few sort of like little windows here. And I was going to put the camera into it. But I don't know if you'll be able to see that clearly with the light. Oh, oh, that's actually not too bad. But there it is, you see? You can imagine I used to sleep in there, man. That's where I used to kit. It was warm. Well, it wasn't that warm, but it was dry. Uh, and I had... Sometimes I had a sleeping bag, sometimes I didn't. Sometimes I just made do with whatever I could find. Cardboard, newspaper, whatever. Uh, but yeah. So that is where... Hang on. My caught on there. But there it is. You see? That's where I slept. And of course, you can hear the trains going over, quite possibly. Uh, but I actually, you get used to that after a while. It, you don't even notice it after a little while, you really don't. And if anything, it actually helps you go to sleep. Actually, it used to lull you to sleep. It's like a, I don't know what you call it, it's just a sort of rhythmic vibrating sound that was kind of slightly hypnotic I guess after a little while but it would help you to go to sleep but yeah so like I say you know I know all this place like the back of my hand you know I've lived in different parts of Manchester but you know the last few years of my life in Manchester I spent round here well not completely the last there was a few other places after but still you know a lot of memories, not very good ones, but not so, not absolutely horrendous either, necessarily, believe it or not. Um, yeah, okay, I guess, I guess that'll do for now. Um, I'm just thinking about taking some pictures actually as well, documenting it that way. So I'm going to stop it there for now, and I'm going to take some photographs. Okay, catch you in a bit. Bye.